And Wisconsin firefighters have been sent back from Florida after being deployed on Sunday. Jenna Middaw caught up with one of the firefighters on his way back, and she joined us live from our bureau at the Janesville Gazette with more. Jenna? Hi, Eric. Well, the Beloit firefighter I spoke with says this is kind of bittersweet. While they were looking forward to going down and helping as much as they could, they're also glad their help isn't needed. It was a battle just to get down south. They basically drove head on into the storm. Meeting Irma in Georgia. You could see the water in the uh, in the roadways and the ditch lines there, and it was just amazing that uh, that much water has, uh, has come down in that area and how saturated it was. A rescue specialist for Wisconsin Task Force 1, Beloit firefighter Jason Griffin was deployed Sunday with 34 other Wisconsin firefighters. They left for Florida that night, headed to Jacksonville, and prepared for anything. We were told to bring everything we possibly can that, that we can use uh, for any type of rescue from a structural collapse rescue to a water rescue. After hours on the road, we drove straight through switching drivers every four hours. A call Tuesday morning stopped everyone in their tracks. We were all pretty upset. You know, we wanted to go down and help out as much as possible. The area they were headed to wasn't hit as hard as expected in Florida. No longer needed help from the three Beloit, seven Janesville, and 25 other Wisconsin firefighters. But even though the crews weren't able to use their rescue skills, the drive down gave them valuable experience for next time. We learned a lot of just the point for a long period of time, so that was. It was really a, a training thing for us. And as the team brings their boats and equipment back home, they'll go back to working on their rescue skills to be prepared for the next disaster, which hopefully never comes. I hope we never use those skills. You know, that's that's the hard part of our, our job. Some areas we train, 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 and we never get to use them, but that's a good thing. The Janesville Fire Chief says the departments will be reimbursed for the workers they send, and right now those firefighter, firefighters are unpacking at Vogue Field, and then they'll be able to go home. All right, Jenna Middon, Rock County Bureau of the Janesville Gazette. Jenna, thank you.